Nancy Nathaniel out here in the city of Arroyo Grande, California, located on the Central Coast. And right now I'm going to be conducting a First Amendment audit of the Lucia Mar Unified School District bus facility. I'm going to make sure that our friends at Lucia Mar Unified School District respect and honor my constitutional right to film what I can see from a public space. So let's go over there and hop on a bus. Well, not literally, but I think you probably all know that. So here I am at the bus barn. Kind of does look like a barn. The address is 710 Wasner Road in the city of Aurora Grande. And the Lucia Mar Unified School District is the largest school district in San Luis Obispo County. Um, it covers a 550 mile square, uh, square foot radius. And um, it basically runs from Shell Beach, which is at the northern end of the city of Pismo Beach, all the way down to the Santa Maria River, which is the county line. So uh, about 10,000 or so students attend Lucia Unified School District schools. This is a public school district, it's not private. So your tax dollars help pay for this stuff. Well, maybe not that Chrysler right there, but... Oh, look at that gold Ford, like a nugget. I actually uh, had a good friend of mine back in Hawaii that had a Ford like that and similar color. He called it the nugget, or we all called it that, but yeah, this is a, a gate. That's closed. Yeah, real exciting stuff. The buses actually come out of Stanley Avenue, which is that private road that we can't go on because, well, it's a, a private road on Or should I say I can't go on it? I'm here by myself. Sometimes I say we because, you know, I like to include you guys, the viewers, who are watching this. This is administrative offices where you can go in and buy bus passes. That's another thing I want to point out. When I was in school... Um, it was free to ride the, the school bus. I mean, there was no charge for it. But now, uh, if you have children that live in the area that uh, is a part of the uni CMR Unified School District, you got to pay uh, to have your kids ride the bus, which I think is kind of BS, but whatever, you know. They find a way to, uh, you know, milk you as if, you know, you don't don't already pay enough taxes you gotta pay to put your kids on the school bus I, I I don't know I think I think people should protest that but whatever you know I don't have children or at least none that I know of so that's not something that uh, affects me so I'm walking around the side of the facility and as you can tell it's they got all this like dead uh, brush or whatnot around it kind of trying to, I don't know if they're purposely trying to obscure people's vision from being able to look in there and see I mean I don't know what would be so secret about a, a bus yard you know but oh, I can see a little bit better over here so I, I, that's probably not the case I don't know these are the smaller buses the mini buses or at least when I was uh, getting my CDL. This is what uh, they were known as, minibuses. When I was a kid, we used to call them the baby buses. And a lot of the, the special needs students would ride uh, the baby buses or minibuses, whatever. I don't know what's politically correct these days. Um, but yeah. I actually like the old uh, Crown school buses. Any of you guys remember the Crown school buses? Um, those were the ones, they kind of looked like big caterpillars, and that was like a common school bus back in the day, or at least in California. Oh, look at this, folks, we got a, a bus over there. Oh, wow, so there is signs of life here. I see they're using bluebirds and Thomases. 
those are uh, common school buses in this day and age. Um, you don't see too many crowns anymore, although in um, the Los Angeles uh, school district, Los Angeles City Schools, they still use the old crown school buses, and I still see them on the freeways every now and then. I, I like the crowns. You know, they, they just had a, a really cool body style. Like, if I was a school bus driver, I'd want to drive a crown. And I've actually talked to some uh, bus drivers, some old school bus drivers, who've actually said that uh, they, they still preferred to drive the crowns, which were manual transmission. Even after they started phasing them out, they still preferred the old crowns. They were like super reliable and fun to drive. But all good things come to an end, I guess. Or at least most of the time. Over there, that's the, uh, the maintenance shop where they service the buses, where they you know, change the bulbs and the oil and, you know, do repairs and things like that. This is where they fill up, where they get their fuel. I know, really, really exciting stuff, folks. I think some of these buses are actually natural gas powered. Hi, I'm filming the bus yard. Oh, because I'm interested in it. How are you? All right, awesome, thank you. Have a good day. I wonder if she just lives in the area or... Well, first contact. So first for everything. Here's another look at some of the buses. I bet you at one time this yard was filled with uh, Crown school buses. Actually, I know it was. But uh, I am here during normal business hours, whatever normal is. School is actually out. I mean, the kids are actually uh, on winter break right now. But um, their administrative office is open because I guess they still have some activities going on. And plus they keep it open for people who want to buy like bus passes. Because like I mentioned earlier, you have to pay to ride the bus now. Or you have to pay to have your kids ride the bus. Saw this van pull up to the pump. Looks like uh, I see some feet. Some of these obviously that looks like an administrative van. Or I don't know, maybe they shuttle the drivers or whatnot. But it's obviously a school district van. Or this might be a, a fuel depot for for all you Lucia Mar Unified School District vehicles. Maybe they come here to get gas. Oh, looks like we got an employee there. Or she's just getting off work or she's coming over here to talk to me. Hi, how you doing? I, I can't hear you very well. What was that? Oh, no, 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 I'm fine, thank you. Huh? I'm just interested in the buses. I got a thing for buses. I just want to film the school buses. Well, that's a cool uh, pink shirt. I was actually going to say I have a fetish for buses, but I don't know. I kind of thought that might be inappropriate to say you have a fetish for school buses. There's a, a worker there. And then we got some uh, people standing over there checking me out. Well, that was that lady that came out earlier. And then we got somebody else. What do you want to bet they called the police? I'm going to guess they probably did. But don't hold me to it because I'm not a gambling man. Well, at least not all the time. Oh, we got a van coming out. One of the school district vans. I think that was that lady that was uh, getting gas earlier. Oh, she's stopping now. She's trying to decide, uh, should I 
sneak out of here without him filming me, but yeah, I wonder if, but yeah, Let's see. Like I mentioned earlier, folks, this is a private road, so I can't walk down there, even though I'd like to get a good view of the, the, hi, I can't hear you, I'll have to come closer. I'm filming the school buses. This is not a school bus. Well, no, 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 I'm filming the school bus facility. For the reason of... I'm just saying, I got a thing for school buses. I see. Yeah. You work for the school district? I work for a different school district. Oh, okay. But uh, doing so is an extremely... Um, not a great thing to be doing. Why, why is that? Because in this day and age, filming school buses well, I'm not hanging around a school facility. This is a school facility. This is the school. This is the bus a school yard. District facility. Huh? It's a school district facility. Yeah, but there's there's yeah. no there's no children here. It's not a school. It's still an important place where school children will be on board these buses. At the bus facility? School children will be on board these buses. Yeah, but there's no school. School's not even in session right now. That is it's winter correct. break. No, it's it's not winter break. Yeah, it is. No, it is not. The, the kids are not out of school right now? No, the children are not out of school right now. Huh? Children are not out of school. Well, I, my niece and nephew are. They're in the UCL Marsh Unified School District. They're, they're on winter break. Okay, this school district employee that you see in the video is trying to claim that the kids are currently in school. This is not true. And I am going to show you the Lucia Mar Unified School District Instructional Calendar 2019 to 2020. So let's take a look. Let's go down to December. And what do I see here? Let's zoom in a little bit. December 23rd to 31st, winter recess. And December 24th and December 25th, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. January 1st, New Year's Day holiday, January 2nd through 10th, winter recess, and what does that say right there? It's highlighted. January 13th, which is tomorrow, today is January 12th, school resumes. Now, I conducted this audit on January 7th, so school was not in session. So this lady, one, either didn't know what she was talking about or she was just flat out lying. There you go. Maybe a different school, I don't know. Must be. Okay, well have a good well, day. This officer right back here is gonna have a chat with you. Okay, I'll be happy to talk with him. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing great. Can you do me a favor? Okay, if we can just stay on the sidewalk now that we're not in traffic, that's, I would appreciate it. No problem. Cool. The reason I hear somebody call and say you were videotaping the school, you know, or the buses. Yeah, I'm filming yeah. the buses. Yeah, you have every right to do so. You're on public property. Okay. On a public place, you know, so okay. you're good to go. You're free to film as much as you want. Yeah. Just make sure you don't go inside the gates, obviously. Never did. Because you did something different, you know, but okay. other than that, everything's good. Yeah. Cool. Do you mind if I get your driver's license or ID? No, no, no. that's fine. Okay. That's fine. Cool. You're that, Officer uh, Esparza? Yes, Officer Esparza. Okay. Cool. Officer, you're very handsome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, but other than that, man, uh, have a good day. Just make sure you don't go inside, okay? No, I have no plans of it. All right, cool. Have a good one. All right, have a good one. Take care. You too. Well, he tried to go for ID, but... We know better, folks. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this audit up. As you guys uh, have seen, the Lucia Marner Unified uh, School District Transportation called the police on me. Uh, but the Royal Grande Police Department were professional. Uh, the one officer tried to sneak in the ID thing, but he didn't push it. So I'm going to give the Royal Grande Police Department a pass.
but I'm gonna give the Lucia Mar Unified School District a fail. So hopefully uh, they'll learn from this that uh, citizens do have the right to film in public. And I wanna thank you all for watching. This is my first audit of the new year. Hope you guys have a great 2020. Nasty Nathaniel saying happy trails. Oh, 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 oh,